Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So recently I rewatched the original 1984 movie based on one of my all time favorite books, George Orwell's 1984. Being such a thought provoking movie, it inspired me to create almost like a graphic dystopian poster based on the kind of key messages extracted from the book. I genuinely nearly had a nervous breakdown doing this piece as it involves so much layering using masking tape and although the piece isn't 100% perfect I'm extremely happy with the outcome and yeah I look forward to doing possibly something similar on canvas down the line. I've also attached a link to the full movie in the description which I highly recommend watching after you will rewatch my <laughs> video a few times but what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna give you guys a summary of the movie and it should give you a good perception of what the kind of whole movie is about as a whole and also while you're kind of looking at the process of creating this piece of artwork uh, you might be able to then pick up on some of the key messages which I've incorporated into the piece George Orwell's 1984 is a dystopian novel that presents a future where a totalitarian government known as the Party has complete control over every aspect of people's lives. The story takes place in the year 1984 in the city of London, which is now part of a superstate called Oceania. The novel follows the story of Winston Smith a low-ranking member of the party who works in the Ministry of Truth. Winston is delusioned with the party and secretly rebels against its oppressive regime. He begins to keep a secret diary in which he writes down his thoughts and feelings, including his hatred for the party and his desire for freedom. Winston's world is one of constant surveillance where the party watches everyone's every move through telescreens and hidden microphones. Even thoughts of rebellion are considered a crime, and the thought police are always on the lookout for anyone who might be thinking subversive thoughts. Despite this, Winston becomes involved in a forbidden love affair with Julia, a fellow party member who shares his anti authoritarian views. The two of them meet in secret and share their dreams of freedom and rebellion. Winston also becomes interested in a mysterious figure known as O'Brien, whom he believes to be a member of an underground resistance movement known as the Brotherhood. Winston begins to receive messages from O'Brien, who encourages him to continue his rebellious activities. However, Winston's world is shattered when he and Julia are caught by the thought police. They are taken to the Ministry of Love, where they are brutally tortured and brainwashed until they are completely obedient to the party. In the end, Winston is completely broken and his rebellious spirit is replaced with complete loyalty to the party. He even comes to love Big Brother, the leader of the party, and betrays Julia when he is asked to do so. The novel ends with Winston's complete surrender to the party, and the message is clear. In a world where truth is subjective and power is absolute, rebellion is futile. One of the central themes of 1984 is the power of language to control people's thoughts and actions. The party uses a form of newspeak, a language designed to eliminate subversive thoughts and promote obedience to the party. The party also constantly revises history to fit its own narrative, erasing any evidence of past rebellions or dissent. Another important theme is the danger of total government control over people's lives. In 1984, the party has absolute power over every aspect of people's lives. 
including their thoughts and feelings. This control is achieved through a combination of propaganda, surveillance and violence. The novel also explores the nature of freedom and the importance of individuality. Winston and Julia's rebellion is fueled by their desire for freedom and self-expression, which they feel is denied by them by the party. However, the rebellion is ultimately crushed, and the novel suggests that true freedom may be impossible in a world where the government has complete control over its people's lives. Overall, 1984 is a powerful warning about the dangers of totalitarianism and the importance of persevering, individual freedom and autonomy. The novel's bleak depiction of a future where truth is subjective and rebellion is futile is a reminder of the importance of maintaining a free and open society where people are free to express themselves and to think for themselves. So we've pretty much come to the end of the video now. I really hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, just enjoyed the whole process in creating the piece. I've also left a link in the description uh, if for anyone looking to buy this particular book. Uh, it's an Amazon link and I recommend getting the book, give it a read and watching the movie. George Orwell really was a visionary, you know, and although it's a little bit sci-fi, it's very, very relevant. So, yeah, one love, power to the people, always embrace your individual qualities and always remain free. Viva la revolution. Take care, everyone. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe.